Good evening. Let us begin our family prayer by singing the hymn, Come Holy Ghost. Psalm 65 Praise waits you, our God, in Zion. To you our vows will be fulfilled. You who answer prayer, to you all people will come. When we were overwhelmed by sin, you forgive our transgressions. Blessed are those you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We are filled with the good things of your house, of your holy temple. You answer us with awesome and righteous deeds. God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the furthest seas. Who formed the mountains by your power, having armed yourselves with strength, who still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of the waves, and the turmoil of the nations. The whole earth is filled with awe at your wonders, where morning dawns, where evening fades. You call forth songs of joy. You care for the land and water it. You enrich it abundantly. The streams of God are filled with water to provide the people with grain. For so you have ordained it. You trench it for us and level it ridges. Soften it with showers and bless its crops. You crown the year with your bounty and your cards overflow with abundance. The grasslands of the wilderness overflow. The hills are clothed with gladness. The meadows are covered with flocks, and the valleys are mantled with grain. They shout for joy and sing. In this psalm, we read that David is telling God, Lord, praise awaits you. Praise awaits you. To you, our vows will be fulfilled. Here he says, Lord, I am getting ready to praise you. I will have to fulfill all my commitments. Why he says like this? It looks as though God has done something great for him. So he wanted to thank the Lord for all the good things what he had received from God. What are the things he mentions in this psalm? Let us see. First he says, You who answer prayer. God had answered David's prayer. So, he wanted to thank him. He wanted to praise him. 
Our God is a God. He always answers our prayers. In the Bible, we read so many references in this regard. As Jesus was walking on the road of Jerusalem, he suddenly heard a voice crying, saying, Jesus, son of David, help me. Jesus, son of David, help me. Jesus heard that cry. He immediately asked the people to bring the person who was crying to him. When he came to Jesus, he came to know that he was a blind man. So he asked him, what do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you? That man said, Lord, I want to see. I want to see. Immediately, Jesus healed that person. God is a God who answers our prayers. When we go through difficulties, when we cry to him, he was there to support us and save us. When he was going with his disciples in the boat, there was a big storm. So the disciples started crying, Lord, save us. Jesus immediately helped them. The storm was still. There was no storm. The disciples could enjoy happiness, peace in their heart. They were thinking that they were going to perish. But Jesus saved them. That is the reason David here says, God answered his prayers, so David wants to give thanks and praise to our God. When we go through a difficult situation, when we cry to God, God was there to answer. So many times we have experienced this in our life. How we adequately thanked him? Just think for a while. How many times we forget to thank God? He is the God of gods. He is the doctor of doctors. Unless God wills, the medicine which we take may not help us. See, in the Old Testament, we read one wonderful illustration. The army commander, Naaman, who came to the prophet, when the prophet said, go and wash in the river, that man thought he was insulted. He was not attended properly. He thought my waters in my country is better than these waters. Why should I go and wash? Many times this is what we think. We think the power is in the water. But remember, the power is not in the water. It is with our Lord. Thousands of people must have taken bath in that river. But nobody experienced any hearing. Please remember. But when this man went there, remember again, this man was not having any faith. He was not having faith at all. So hesitantly, under the compulsion, pressure from his own people who were with him, he went and dipped himself in that water. He experienced healing. He immediately turned back. He wanted to thank the Lord. When the prophet did not accept anything, he begged him, at least allow me to carry some sand, soil from this place. That is how he wanted to show his gratitude to the living God. How do we show our gratitude to our God? God has kept all of us safe and sound thus far. 
even when we went through difficulties and suffering, he has taken care of us. Are you ready to thank him? Secondly, in verse 3, we read that when we were overwhelmed by sins, you forgive our transgressions. Here he gives another reason. He wanted to thank God because God has forgiven all his sins. Adultery, murder and so many other things. From his experience, he is telling, God is a God who forgives all of our sins. Don't you think that God has forgiven all our sins? It is because of that, today we call ourselves as Christians, because Jesus died for our sins, and he has forgiven all our sins. How do we live? like David. Can we say that God has forgiven all our sins, now I am a holy person? Or even after experience the salvation, are we going back to the old nature? Do we still carry the Adamic old nature or we are saved? Just think for a while. God is willing to forgive our sins provided we confess our sins. So in this evening, let us remember, God is a praying answer God. Whatever your situation it may be now, you ask him to support you. You ask him to help you and bless you. I'm very sure God will take care of our spiritual as well as the physical need. God bless you. Let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this wonderful evening which you have given to us, Lord, this evening. We thank you and praise you for keeping all of us safe and sound. It's all because of your grace, Lord, we could see this evening. We could successfully complete this day, Lord, in this evening. We thank you and praise you for speaking to us through your servant, David. He wanted to thank you for all the good things which he had enjoyed from your hands. We too, every day, experience new blessings from your hands. But we forget to thank you. Lord, forgive this sinful nature. Help us to have the heart which has the gratitude for your blessings. Lord, you have forgiven all of our sins. Help us to lead a holy life. Though you have forgiven, though you died for our sins, again and again, we continue to do the same sin in our life. That is why we are not able to lead a holy life. We commit all of us unto your keeping. Take care of us. Bless us. Meet our spiritual as well as the physical need. Give us your peace. Have compassion on us. Change the situation. Remove this deadly virus from our world so that all of us can continue to lead a peaceful life. Lord, as we are going through difficulties, suffering and pain, we commit our life to you. Lord, we are very much tensed up. We are having a lot of anxiety. Lord, be with us. Help us to depend on you. Help us lean on you for every minute to live in this world so that we can continue to lead a holy and righteous life. Bless each and every one of us. Meet all our needs. Lord, we commit all those who are going through a difficult situation, those who are not doing well, Lord, we ask you to heal them completely. Give them new strength. Meet our physical and financial situation so that, Lord, we may have a peaceful moment and we can be a blessing of channel in this world. Once again, we commit ourselves unto your keeping. Let your protection, peace and good health be upon each and every one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you all. Have a blessed evening.